Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a 12 inch by 24 inch canvas that has a mostly wet surface <laughs> and I maybe I waited too long. I'm going to start this I'm going to start this particular piece by making sure my paint is shaken. I'm putting a weird line on everything before I start to give myself Actually, I want to see how wide my card is and go a little bit less wide than that. Just try and make rows that I can keep to. That's not going to be easy. That's going to be interesting. The last row is going to be... Well, maybe there'll be some black space in between and that would be okay with me too. I already like the painting. <laughs> uh, every time I start something, I learn something new. So I'm going to try and put colors near each other that I like. And I'm hoping that these will last while I swipe. That is an amethyst purple from Artist Loft. And I can always put more colors in as I go along, which reminds me I want to really... I want to try and grab my turquoise, but for right now I'll go with the electric blue from Arteza that I love so much. And next I'm going to add some of the Hot Orchid from Color Art. It's a prism pour. And yeah, I'm pretty much making a painting before painting. That's just the way I roll. And I hope it works. Might be cool. Might be too cool to want to do anything to. Eh, we'll see. I doubt it. I, I just love swiping. I'm completely swipe obsessed. And yeah, I need something down here. I'm just using all my favorite colors again and relying on the fact that I am pretty sure I will be having to add some things as I go along to figure out exactly what I like the best. I have some, that was a Hobby Lobby brand orange that has um, iridescent pearl fine in it. This is a folk art red red pink I think it's called. I really want to bridge the gap in between because as I pull my colors down I tend to drag down to canvas and that might be a problem. I doubt whether you have to actually put these in in lines. I'm pretty sure you don't. This is an Anita's white metallic. I want to do this <laughs> once, see what that looks like. I have some Venetian blue and I want to get it out. This might be really quick once I get this part done. But I definitely, definitely, definitely have to have enough paint to make this a viable endeavor. And it looks like I didn't pull every color out I wanted to, but that's okay. I do expect to see that tur There's the turquoise I'm looking for. Cool. Excellent. And here's the turquoise I wasn't looking for. This is a peacock tur metallic turquoise from DecoArt. I'm trying to make sure... Oh, that might have been a mistake. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure they go where they're supposed to go. But at some point in time, I just need to start. And I really want some more purple. And the purple that I'm saving up is the, co the purple flash from Folk Art. I don't want to take too much longer because I'm afraid my canvas was already on the way to being dry. There's my purple. Let's put that in between everything. I don't have any more... I have some gold in there, but I don't have the color gold that I like the most, which is actually 
I might be out of. Let me see if I've got it. Oh, I've got enough. Let's hope. Let's hope the tip is not clogged. I'm going to do this double in a couple of places. And I'm going to grab my Amsterdam Black that has pre-stained wood conditioner in it. I didn't put the turquoise in, but it is clogged, so give me a second. And I am going to just keep unabashedly adding paint up and down. And it'll be interesting to find out where I stop and start, because that's the deal. Wherever I stop and start is going to be a black space with more, more black from the Amsterdam Black. And where I start is important. Hey, that's... There's no row there. <laughs> okay, then. I see how I am. We won't worry about that right now. We won't worry about those little things I just spewed either. This is just a different color gold, which I should actually put in a different place. Question is, should I put some black in there? Some of the Amsterdam black. Just because along the road to to pulling, I might not want to have to dip my card every time, although I'm pretty sure that is going to be the case. It's just I'm really not going to see where I put this black very easily. I kind of want, I can swing my turntable, but I kind of want to look at it without having to move all those bottles of paint that are in my way right now. And I want some orange, some more orange. Well, there we go. That's my painting. <laughs> I'm all done. I've got some really nice dark turquoise. And just using all the colors is always a temptation for me. I think it just really depends on where you're putting them. And I already know that as I go along, I'll be able to change this up if I want to. So let's use some of the Amsterdam Black and the card that I just had right there, right now. Give it, make sure it's curved up. And I think I'm going to start by putting a little more white in. It's <laughs> just not ready, I guess. All right, yes, no, I'm nervous. I just pretty much covered up all of the silver There's one row down. Interesting textures in there. I'm going to use my residuals. Just continue. I'm going to try and use my residuals on the edge of the canvas to cover the end. Not so worried about the side. Here goes some more card, card action. I want some pink in there. I can see that now. Or some, at least some purple flash. And maybe some turquoise too. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to start from one end, but the other one worked so well, it seems like a justifiable option to try. It is just stripes after all. All right. So, I'm not so sure about my silver lines, but I do have some good coloration. I'm going to try and break, break out of the conventional and start someplace not at one end. And I don't think I got my stripes evenly enough, evenly spaced enough, I should say. I've got maybe too many colors too. Good question. So what will I do with it? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I do have paint I want to put into a scrape dish and I did actually find my scrape dishes. 
when I do an exhibition video, which I did recently, I clean up my studio and then I can't find anything for like, well, maybe not anything. I can find a lot of things, but not everything I want. That's pig. Yeah, I think there's going to be a line of silver right up there, maybe. Or gold or white or something. I'm not sure yet. I don't know how I would have rectified that other than to have a dry canvas and to have made marks so I would have known exactly where I was going. This is bugging me. And I've got paint on my card and a scrape dish I just put down. Yep, right there. Right where? <laughs> okay, that was weird. I'm looking at it. Everything's covered in paint. Okay, that's really curious. All right, here goes nothing. At least if I finish the rows that I have, we'll be able to see what I might want to do with what's left. And I do have a little tiny tool here somewhere. Actually, I've got my little slidey tool, and that could work really well. So let's just be obnoxious. decide if I want to continue. Yeah, I'm going to do it. And instant cells. Cool. And I found my other dish, which was right under my turntable and had completely disappeared. <laughs> That's weird. So weird. Moved my turntable down to the table today. In order to fully function, this tool needs to slide well. Let's remove that. Wow. Big piece of grit. So, still not happy yet. But that's okay, because I think I can cure that. We shall see if I am correct in a moment. remember to take the paint off of the pad and get it into the water really fast because it tends to want to stay there. So I don't have an awful lot of variation or negative space. I'm going to throw that in the bucket. And I have to learn to love it right quick if I'm going to love it at all. And I'm tending to think that I'm just going to Give myself permission. I want a smaller card, a much smaller card, or and I can always cut a card as long as my scissors are handy. does not want to cut. That's so strange. My scissors are binding right up on the acetate. I've never had that happen before. All right, let's grab a little more black. I don't want to ruin anything that's cool, and there's so much that's cool. Uh, great cells, just the composition isn't floating my boat. Not really uh, <laughs> inspired to figure out what's going on. So,
whatever I get left over in the background will be fine. I'm going to grab a couple pieces of chain, give myself permission to have some fun. Make a completely different kind of composition. Leave as many of the pretty color combinations and cells together as I can. And call it an artwork. Not so sure about that red. So I'll make short work of it, I guess. Sometimes my near failures turn out to be some of my most interesting lessons. And I kind of like that. It's not like anything else, too, and that's a good thing, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. I'm going to try and do the painting I was going to do more adeptly <laughs> in a minute, I hope. Well, I think I could have used some white in there. We're out of time. So I want to tell you guys, thank you for the thumbs up. Please, can I have one? <laughs> And uh, I have over 19 lists with 100 videos each on them on playlists. All playlists, created playlists on my YouTube channel. If you're looking for them, you'll find them. I'm going to zoom in so you can see some of those cells. This is a really, this is a, this is a marble roll without a marble. <laughs> Let's see if I can keep zooming in. Yeah, it's a kaleidoscopic, kaleidosco kaleidoscopic. It's very graphic. I think it would make excellent fabric, to tell you the truth, now that I'm looking at it from up here in little tiny sections. I like the drama of the black. I want to thank you guys for joining me. Make you aware that there's a monthly drawing for paintings, my artworks, for those of you who are contributors through PayPal or Patreon, um, to help support the studio's production of videos, which is it's much in need of. And uh, you can find that the icons on the lower right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner. I want to thank you for the wonderful comments to keep my morale boosted. Thank you for shopping my Amazon link that can be found on the link tree, which is the first blue link underneath the video, or when you open Show More. On the Amazon link, you're going to find my two books, Because I Can, and Unlimited Possibilities, Volumes 1 and 2. If you have questions for me, please ask me. If, you're, if you visit my community board, you will usually find tomorrow's video posted there. Uh, my Facebook groups are on the link tree. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students, and you can find tomorrow's video there posted late at night sometimes. Uh, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors has albums of artworks that you can check out if you're interested. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More has a Shop Now button that will take you to FineArtAmericanPixels.com where I have a lot of gear. 1,300 things are posted there, and they can each be any number of you know 20 different things or 40 different things, whatever. Uh, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links are also on my link tree. My email address is below the link tree when you open Show More. If you like my videos, share my videos, watch them longer, leave me a comment. All those things are really helpful along with that thumbs up. Don't forget the thumbs up. My paint pouring recipe is under the video. If you see clothing under the video, that's Teespring Clothing or Spring Clothing. I think they changed their name. And uh, whatever I have printed there is all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. If you're looking for higher end fashion, I have that too on Le Gallerist. It's the top link on my link tree. And some of my favorite new patterns are there. And gorgeous dresses and scarves and uh, kimono tops and all kinds of wonderful, wonderful things to see. Less expensive at Teespring, less expensive at FineArtAmericaPixels.com. So you have lots of choices, and if you feel like helping, you can. Any, any shopping you do on the Amazon link, for, starting at my link, will help me hunt and help support the production of videos. Thank you guys. Take care of each other. Make sure you know the drawing is on the first of the month, and you can see the prizes for the drawing in the exhibition video at the beginning, and the exhibition video is on the end screen of every video in the last 20 seconds. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. This is